Hey, beloved, Pastor Nelson here again. Can you say this with me? It's just life. Say it one more time. It's just life. That's right, beloved. It's just life, no matter what it is. And you have to understand that life is a journey. It is a series of ups and downs. You're going to have times and experiences of joy, of celebrations and special moments, but you also have to understand that you're going to have times of heartache and pain and disappointments. And yes, you'll have to go through even as a believer. Matthew chapter 5 verse 45 says that it rains on the just just as well as the unjust. That's right, beloved. Even believers have to endure some things that they don't want to go through. But remember, beloved, whatever it is, it's just life. And as a child of God, you don't have to go through things by yourself. The Bible says that God will never leave you nor forsake you, but he's going to be with you always. Even in the book of Revelation, when they wanted to put him out of the church, the Bible says that God would speak and said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and if any man will open up the door, he said, I'll come in and sup with him and he with me. So you can't get away from God. God, because God doesn't want to get away from you. You don't go through by yourself, but you will have to go through. The Apostle Paul had to endure some things that he really did not want to go through. The Bible says that after casting out devils, after um, healing the sick, after raising the dead, that the Apostle Paul would take his problems to the Lord. The Bible says that he sought the Lord three times because of a thorn that was in his flesh. There was a bodily annoyance or a disability in his body, and he sought God for an answer. And when God responded to him, he didn't say, hey, Paul, I'm going to deliver you or, hey, Paul, I'm going to heal you. But he said something very profound. He says, my grace is sufficient for you. But what is grace? Grace is not only the unmerited favor of God, but it is the divine influence of God upon one's life. It is the ability to handle things that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to handle. It is the ability to be what you ordinarily wouldn't be able to be. And so God says, I'm going to give you grace. But I want you to understand, the reason why God gives us his grace while we're going through, it is so that the affliction will not work against us, but that it will work for us. How can the affliction work for me? Hallelujah. I'm so glad you asked. The affliction works for you because when God talks to us, oftentimes we receive information and we believe that we are where God has spoken to us. But God will speak to us, give us a word, and then grow us to where he would have us to go. So you have to understand that God gives us his grace and then he allows us, one, to learn more about him and two, to learn more about about ourselves. That's right, beloved. We begin to go through things that teach us more about us. God's strength is made perfect in weakness. For when we decrease, God increases. And not only does he teach us about ourselves, but he prepares us for the journey that's ahead of us. So Paul said, I take pleasure in my infirmities because something is going to come out of it grand. God is going to use my trouble. And beloved, I encourage you. Don't give up. It's not a time to throw in the towel. Yes, I know there's a lot going on in our lives, in our worlds and our bodies. We are experiencing trouble like never before. But if you will continue to trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. I can guarantee you this. If you are going through it, you're not going to come out empty handed. God is going to use it to his glory and you will come out better than you went in. God bless you.